we realize in the busiest time of the year that nobody ever really wants to cut their machines off but you can do a visual PM check for just one cycle the whole day every day and it'll tell you a lot like the first thing I always like to do is check the top of the machine to see if all the nozzles are in as you see we have some nozzles out when the machine is running it's hard to maintain a proper operating water level on the top of this sump box because all the water is just rushing down the uh, uh, tubes that don't have distributors in them and when that happens it starts starving the other distributors with water and then when you harvest you have real thin shell ice mixed in with your good ice so that's the first thing I check on a visual check in one cycle the next thing I like to check is to make sure the uh, water valve is working correctly so we can maintain the proper water level in our sump for making ice. Because if the float doesn't work properly and the water level goes way down, we start having problems not only with the bad quality of ice, but oil pressure problems in the compressor, uh, stuff like that. My next visual check is my uh, operating level of refrigerant in my receiver tank. We need to make sure we have a good operating level during operation so we'll have enough supply for our ice making vessel. If that gets low, well, we know our ice capacity is getting low. And that can even cause oil pressure problems and stuff like that. goes on the post the liquid solenoid should cut off and it should do this cycle about 10 to 15 times during the freeze cycle as long as it's doing that and like I said like we just went over and we got a good refrigerant level in the receiver tank and this is working okay we should be assured that the machine is going to produce ice pretty good If I was the owner of this machine, I'd, I would know by running it every day what my normal operating pressures were. So I would look at that every day and that would tell me if anything was going on with the machine. Like if my discharge pressure started going too high, higher than normal, I know that I'd have a problem with my condensing or my cooling tower or my cooling tower fan or something of that nature. If my suction pressure started getting too low before it went into harvest, that would tell me that my harvest pressure switch was out of whack. It was malfunctioning. If my suction won't come in down low enough to even put it in harvest, uh, that would tell me that I may would have a leak, internal leak in my hot gas valve keeping my suction up. And while I'm doing that, I would also go over here and check my oil level in my compressor and make sure it's at the normal operating level that it is about every day and all of this that we're checking can be done in one cycle and it will tell you a lot especially when you haven't got time to shut anything down you can do this and it will really tell you a lot on about how you've been operating and how you're going to continue to operate like to check the fall cycle once a day to make sure all the ice is coming out and I have about 25 to 30 seconds of harvest time left with no ice coming out before it goes back into the freeze.